أعوذ بالله من الشيطان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولي الأمر منكم and the reminder always for myself and have the kalajisu, da'ifu, miskeen, zalim, jahal remember for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and alhamdulillah in days of difficulties the tariqah teachings are even more applicable that to live a life as a drop outside of the ocean and this world is only intention is to dry up that drop, put every difficulty upon that drop and every heat upon the drop until the drop dries and fades away. And people whom isolate themselves from awliya, isolate themselves from dhikrullah, isolate themselves from salawat and the majlis of Salli ala Nabi they're being isolated by shaitan. Shaitan comes into their lives and badness, evilness, bad character, whatever people want to call it and isolate the servant so that they literally like a drop outside of the ocean. They begin to lose the feel of the ocean, the purpose of the ocean and that's all that shaitan wants is to isolate people and take away their feeling of belonging, a feeling of purpose, a feeling of unity and community. And that becomes very sad with all these isolations, all these testings, all these masks and conditioning because that's all they want is to condition people to have fear, sit at home, order your food and don't ever go out and no community, no, no, no purpose in life. And the tariqah comes to teach that, no, no this is a community, this is the Muhammadan community. This is a community based on the love of Allah and the heart and love and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And all of its teachings is to make us to return back to the ocean so that we can feel the power of the ocean, the beauty, the magnificence of the ocean and that all that Allah has bestowed upon that ocean. And that's why the tariqahs operate the way they do, that's why they say that follow the shaykh, follow a shaykh, be committed to the shaykh. And even if the shaykh is, 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 is understanding of that psychology and that's why the logo, that's why the, the phoenix and that's why the distinction is to give ourselves one the barakah and the blessings of identifying ourselves as Sufi meditation center and we're all under the ijazah of Naqshbandiya so that's our umbrella all under Ahlul Sunnah wa Jama'ah is our umbrella all with the love of Allah and the obedience to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and then the tariqah's cleverness is for the shaykh to bring people to the community that he's making and now mashaAllah it's a virtual community we don't have to travel you know 20 hours and uh, e even three hour travel is a whole day. Imagine 20 hour journeys where you take at least two days to fly somewhere and somebody to accommodate and host you and then go from home to home and alhamdulillah by the comfort of this technology Allah is making us to reach and the shaykh's responsibility to tie people in, everybody's acting like a loose bead just rolling on their own like a rolling stone, I think there's a song for that. <laughs> They're just kind of rolling away and sitting by yourself, isolating, going into corners where nobody can see you. They even do it at the center, they go sit somewhere very far away from everybody else trying to isolate. Such a psychological profile of that person is very apparent to the shaykh that don't isolate yourself, that characteristic is dangerous for you. And if you had it in your children you'd be concerned. So the shaykh looks at his students like children, that when one of your kids isolates away from the pack and hides themselves and 
wants to pretend they're not with them but they're with them or people whom are virtual and they're watching from the internet and they're, they're not logging in, they're not participating, they're not commenting. These are psychologically very important to bring people together because the shaykh knows that the winds are coming, the tides of difficulty are everywhere and they see it with all the people they interact even with their own family. They see it, they see that when shaitan triggers you to isolate and make you to be by yourself. As soon as you're by yourself what happens? You, you understand your insignificance that you know people become depressed because they feel like they have nothing, they are nothing, they have no power, they're being manipulated and pushed and herded in different directions. Psychologically they're becoming crushed and they feel themselves to be down and anxious. So Tariqah alhamdulillah is the teacher of psychology, not the, these crazy people who you know taught this in school, they were very creepy people. Their whole foundation of, of Western psychology is by very creepy scary people. But Islamic psychology is from Allah from the, the grace and the beauty of Sayyidina Muhammad heart and this is the reality of tariqah. They are the real psychologists, they are the real doctors, they are the real guides of, of the human race and the human identity. And Allah knows that we have to keep a companionship, a companionship of those whom are wishing to improve themselves. And as a result of keeping that companionship we begin to feel a purpose. So then when we have the logo, we get the logo, I feel that I'm connected with that group and specifically with that shaykh. And I don't have to keep emailing, who is my shaykh, who is my shaykh. When you sit at home you don't ask, you know, who's your family? You know where you're sitting, you know who you're in front of, you know who you're emailing, you know who you're, you're dealing with. You have to stop that question, that, that means your mind some, is in the wrong place. Just make your connection and begin to feel the presence. Feel the presence of the shaykh, the one whom is talking to you. Feel that when you close your eyes you're in his association at all times and that you're asking for your heart to be filled with that light, his light to enter into your heart. As a result of that you feel that, I'm with them, look I have this logo on me, I'm in their YouTubes, I'm participating on their sites, he knows my name on every platform he sees it. You feel that you're connected and that's what psychologically is very important before you even understand the spiritual significance, you feel that you're connected to a family and a community. And this Naqshbandi family specific to Sufi meditation center. If you don't see our logo and you don't see my face that's something else, that's something else. So you know there can be many different flavors of Naqshbandiya, you even have Naqshbandiya Mujaddidi which completely different. So that's not the only understanding where you bounce from channel to channel, channel to channel. But this is very specific to join this family, to see its logo, to see that shaykh and say, that's the one that I'm participating with. And that's important in these days is to feel that I'm a part of something. I email and I have a communication with this shaykh, I'm active on all these platforms, I'm on their YouTube, I'm on all of these different things. And then we feel that we have a belonging and that has to counter what shaitan is doing. Shaitan is isolating, isolating, isolating because people are weaker by themselves and stronger in a herd, right? So if you have something like this is much stronger than something like this. Because any one of these you can quickly break, so they don't have a hand but to have a fist. Means to be united, to be together, to be strong. Shaitan's only purpose is to open it up and make everybody to be by themselves and begin to isolate. And you see it everywhere and you see that psychologically he wants to break people down. As a part of breaking people down he makes them to become depressed, makes them to become anxious. And that's all he needs, 
and then he began to induce them with, take this, take this, take this, take this. And before you know it they're just a walking zombie. So more than ever these, these things that the shaykhs are putting together they are very important. Any piece of them you leave out it has a significant purpose, it's not something random. The shaykh is trying to make people to feel like this is a virtual community and that they're like a family, they're all connected, they have a, a common theme, common interest and the propagation of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and gives everybody a purpose, everybody a, a sense of responsibility, everybody a, a sense of I can participate in something and not just look at it, I can share the feeds, I can share the books, I can go to the articles, there's about 10,000 articles on nurmuhammad.com. Any article or any subject that you like on abjad, on meditation, on all of these things and people begin to share. And mashaAllah we have a lot of people sharing on different platforms and WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups, uh, Facebook and all of these different social media, these are important. These are important not only for the shaykh's teachings to disseminate, so you get the nazar of Prophet that we are spreading the Muhammadan reality but one is to counter shaitan on what he's doing and how he's trying to isolate and break down individual people. And once he, he breaks them down then very easy to conquer them and to make them to feel immensely depressed and immensely anxious. We pray that Allah give us more and more strength and understanding and all we have to do is just follow, follow the example and participate, feel the love, feel the community and that I'm a part of this Sufi meditation center, Naqshbandi teachings and alhamdulillah and we feel that love, we feel that the community, we feel Allah's grace and light and dressings inshaAllah to be upon us and to bless us and protect us from the difficulties that continuously opening, opening upon this earth. And the same we would teach for our families, it's no difference. Whatever the shaykh is teaching, he's teaching in something that everyone takes back to their own home, is to feel themselves a unit, to feel themselves participating and to participate with their family, make the family to feel that they're united together, that they have a, a, a connection with each other and this is uh, important in life. So alhamdulillah inshaAllah protect us against these difficulties and unite us with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and grant us a himmah and a zeal in which to, to do many things. You know with this, this love and this support many things are possible, all, all barriers can be brought down with just a handful of a few good people. MashaAllah Allah dress and bless everybody who made the, the mawlids to be possible, the events to be possible, the filming and television productions to be possible, the, the book production mashaAllah to be possible and the families that are involved with the production, the editing and endless hours of putting things together. Alhamdulillah it's, a, it's an immense project of, of many, many people participating and having the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaam ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha